What's going on, people? So, um, I'm late to the party, but I've um, watched um, Jesse Nelson's documentary called Odd One Out. And basically, it just features her talking about the lower points in her life um, due to cyberbullying, trolling, people calling her all sorts of things. And it almost led her to the path where um, she almost wanted to kill herself. Now... Before I add anything further, let me just say I do respect Little Mix. Um, I respect Little Mix because of what they've achieved in music. Um, I respect them for winning the X Factor, even though I'm not a big fan of X Factor. They're the first group to win it, and they've been able to do what they've been able to do successfully. So I wish them um, every bit of success going forward. Um, but this issue needs to be talked about. I myself have been bullied, you know. I don't tend to talk about it a lot these days because I'm trying to be a positive person and I'm trying to get myself together as a person. Um, as a man, I need to be able to, like, achieve what I want to achieve. And just just when I got up this morning, as I was watching the, the documentary, I got to thinking to myself, like, of all the things I've actually um, I've overcome, in life, um, whether it's breakups, whether it's failure, whether it's um, sadness, whether it's heartbreak, all that stuff I did overcome, you know, and I've I've actually grown as a person, and so has Jessie. Jessie just looked at herself, and she um, looked at the pictures of of the X Factor days and 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 whatnot, and she's trying to be happy within herself she's trying to kind of appreciate that you know it took her from getting from where she was to where she is now um and she enjoys what she does i saw um a person who was listening intently to other people's opinions and other people's thoughts around what's going on so she knew that she wasn't alone you know um, all the people that actually care about her, inclu including her bandmates, her mom, her sister, that was on the show. Um, you know, it was t it was tough. It's t it, it was tough. I can even see it. In, in, I can see it has. I can see it when I saw the the documentary. I saw that it was tough for her. However, um, I just had to think about myself a little bit, and I could relate to that. I could relate to feeling um, in such a way that I wanted to do whatever I could to try to 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 please people, you know, to try to get along with people. But then I realized something. I realized that whoever's going to like me is going to like me for me. Whoever's going to appreciate me is going to appreciate me for me. Let's be real. I never, I never want to be in the whole. Um, whole situation where I'm doing things just to get liked. I'm doing stuff to just get appreciated. Look, um, I just feel for Jesse. I do. I really do. And bravo for coming out and talking about this situation. Bravo of actually go ahead and making this documentary. But. I just think that social media companies need to take a good look at themselves and start to just um, stamp out cyberbullying, stamp out um, <coughs> trolling altogether. Because social media is a great place, you know. <coughs> Excuse me. Social media is a great place where we can convey our own opinions. You know, we can talk about things that's, that makes us feel good. You know, um, I've been on social media now for over, oh God, God knows how long. And I've been on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, you name it, I'm on it. Um, and and you know what? Um, I've, I wanted to use social media as a platform for me to kind of express myself when I couldn't, when I was in school, college or whatever, they didn't want me to express myself for being the person that I, person that I am. I'm 
I'm normally outspoken, as you probably can tell. Um, and I like to like I like to be able to to share um, to share stuff, you know, with with everybody. I just like doing that, you know. I like I like having to um, be as confident as I can be. I'm not afraid to to talk about things. I'm not afraid to just be out there and and give it everything. It's like when I go to when I went into Jamaica for example, you might have seen my vlogs. If you haven't go check them out. I'm doing those things because you know something it goes out there and I want to go out there and have a good time. I want to be able to live the best life that I can live. I want to be able to, you know, um be um as as open as I can and you know, I want to let my hair down. I want to I want to be able to talk to people and I want to be able to meet people and, you know, I I want, I just like doing that. I just like being out there and just have been so energetic about things. I like, I like to, 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 to live my best life. That's it. So in closing, um, I just think the documentary is brilliant. You know, I don't like bullying. I've been bullied myself. I've been teased. My name has been teased constantly. I've been teased about my lips. Listen, I I look at myself every day lately and I think to myself, I look good. You know, these lips are going to end up on somebody's daughter permanently one day. You know, it's it's what it is. So... You know, I having to look look good. You know, Jessie looks good. You know, she's got a, she's got the the best life that people can only dream of. You know, I know that in celebrity uh, in celebrity lifestyle these days, it's not normal. It's not easy because you know you get mobbed every, everywhere. You can't go out to dinner. You can't um, you can't do things as uh, peacefully anymore. You know, and you wouldn't. And you wouldn't want to refuse um, people from coming up to you, wanting to take selfies with you, wanting to have their autograph and, and you know, wanting to spend five minutes just to talk about how um, how they feel about what you do, you know. And even though I'm I'm a YouTuber, and even if this, get, if this video and what I do on YouTube gets me to a point of celebrity status, what's changed about me won't change, you know. You know, it's... I, I I don't believe I will change from it. I believe that I will still be the same. I'm still gonna go out there. I'm still gonna live my best life, and I'm still gonna um, I'm still gonna be a people person because that's normally who I am, you know. So, yeah, I just think that it is this is something that we can all relate to. Um, I think that cyberbullying, bullying, full stop, needs to be eradicated. And, um, yeah, praise J Jesse for, for being a bit more happier, you know, in appreciating her life and appreciating herself a little bit more. Cause I think she's cool. I think, I think, um, what, what she does with little mix is cool. Um, and I totally respect them for, 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 for that and everything else. Um, but yeah, this is me. Um, I'm just wanting to put it out there to, to, to say my own opinions let me know what you think have you been bullied have you been cyber bullied um let's talk about this let's have a debate about this you know and um yeah just let me know if you're new around here if you've seen this video for the first time please 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 drop a like um if you're new um subscribe to my channel i've got loads more stuff to uh, to talk about including arsenal which is playing later on today um and um yeah don't forget to check out all of my stuff on on, on my youtube channel it's um it's all ready to go so uh yeah i'll catch you guys on the next video until then peace